Welcome back. In this video, we're going to study and learn some additional vocabulary about polygons as they relate to circles. And we say that a polygon is inscribed in a circle if all its vertices lie on the circle. So in our first diagram here, we see that this quadrilateral, all of the vertices lie on the circle. So we would say that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is inscribed in the circle. So inscribed in. Circumscribed about. A polygon is circumscribed about a circle of each if each of its sides is tangent to the circle. So these are all tangent points, and we would say the polygon is circumscribed about the circle. Now, these particular polygons, I've used quadrilaterals, but it can, go, it can be any polygon. It doesn't have to be just a four-sided figure. We could have a hexagon circumscribed about a circle, or we could inscribe an octagon inside a circle. So these aren't just quadrilaterals here. We can also say a polygon is inscribed in a circle. So here we have, if we have a polygon is inscribed in a circle, we can say the circle is circumscribed about the polygon. So we can still do circumscribed about, but now the circle as in our previous, our first diagram, our circle is circumscribed about the quadrilateral. As in this one, the, the polygon is circumscribed about the circle. Okay, so it just it depends on who's on the inside and who's on the outside. Now, if a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure, is inscribed in a circle. Its opposite angles are supplementary. We know that the sum of a, the interior angles of a quadrilateral has to be 360. And so these would be x and 180 minus x. And we might have y. 180 minus y, but regardless, these would all add up to 360, and the opposite angles have to be supplements. And that's if it's a quadrilateral. We have to be careful because we also have a property that if a parallelogram is inscribed in a circle, so now we've got some specific qualities of the quadrilateral that is you know both pairs of opposite sides are parallel you know, both pairs of opposite sides are congruent okay but if a parallelogram is inscribed in a circle then it has to be a rectangle remember that the opposite angles must be supplements but if this is a parallelogram, don't the interior angles on the same side of the transversal have to be supplementary? So if we have opposite angles being x and 180 minus x, and the consecutive angles or the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary, well, in order for these to be supplements, I'll label here. So A and C, since it's a four-sided figure inscribed in a circle, and these have to be supplements, and since the properties of parallel lines tell us that angle D and angle C also have to be supplements, well, our only real choice here is that all the angles are forced into being 90-degree angles. So... That's because of our properties of a parallelogram, which forces that to be a rectangle. So if 
a parallelogram is inscribed in a circle, that parallelogram must be a rectangle. And we'll apply these to different situations. Some are similar to what you've seen before. Some might be new using our, our new properties. But we'll apply these more when I see you in class.